kasama po natin ngayon. Ito si Sir na Guwapong Guwapo from Profen Systems Corporation. Siya po ay si Mr. Benedict Almanzor, ang area manager ng Profen Systems Corporation. Yeah. Sir, good morning good po. Good morning, Welcome yeah. po sa good morning, Kuya. My pleasure. Ayan. Ayan, sir. Ano po ba itong Profen Systems Corporation? Well, Profen Systems Corporation is the exclusive distributor of Speedrite Energizers. So, these are Speedrite Energizers are New Zealand um, technology. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's been around for the past 70 years. Wow. Already. Pero you're first in the Philippines. Yes. We're, we're the first one to offer it commercially. As I mentioned, exclusive yung distribution ito to, sa Profens okay. Systems Corporation. Okay. So, ang pinag-uusapan po di natin dito ay electric fence. Yan. Yes, that's correct. Oo. Ito po ba ay, ito yun eh, ito po sa gilid po natin. Ano? Sir, ano ba yung importance ng uh, electric fence sa ating buhay-buhay? Uh, hindi lang sa bahay, hindi lang yes. din sa mga company siya. Okay. Na? Alam mo, Beth, yung electric fence kasi, ano, um, it's, it's noteworthy to say mm -hmm. na ang ang lahat ng tao naman gusto natin yung ating tinitirang bahay, yung ating mga mahal sa buhay, eh, uh -huh. safe lagi. Pero yung safety na yan, hindi naman natin kailangan gawing garrison yung ating mga bahay <laughs> para lang masecure yan. Because if you'll notice, maraming mga bahay naglalagay ng mga cyclone fence, mga uh -huh. basag na bote. Sa ibabaw nung kanilang mga exactly. bako, di ba? So, sa ibabaw nun. And this is... Uh, a more cost-efficient way mm -hmm. and an active uh, defense against you know, those people na gustong pumasok. Yung mga intruders, yung mga magnanakaw na mm -hmm. gusto pumasok sa bahay. Pero sir, is it safe? Oo. Actually, since nabanggit mo yan, Beth, no, ang, ang electric fence, mm -hmm. nagkakaroon kasi ng fallacy yan minsan. Kala nung iba, nakakamata yan. Mm -hmm. Pag hinawakan ko yan, meron silang kinatawag na yung higop, yung pag hinawakan ko, tuloy-tuloy, uh -oh. mamamatay uh -oh. na ako. Hindi. These are safe applications of uh, ele electrical wires, wires na by pulse lang siya. Hindi siya, hindi siya tuloy-tuloy. It's uh, the electricity that passes through mm -hmm. the electric fence comes in pulse lang. So, sir, merong isang ginagamit, sir, for um, uh, security. Parang, di ba, merong mga... Uh, how do you call it? Tear gas. Pero there's this one device na pag dinikit sa'yo, ay parang stun gun. Ayan, pag dinikit sa'yo, mawawalan ka ng malay. Pag yan ba nahawakan ko, mawawalan ako ng malay? Ay hindi. Hindi naman, Beth. Kasi ito, uh, as I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. it really is a deterrent only for criminals. Kasi pag nakita ng magnanakaw na merong electric fence, mm -hmm. because there are warning signs. Okay. If you'll notice, these are in yellow. English and Tagalog yan. Ilalagay talaga yung babala. Kasama yes, yan. Yes, that's okay. part of the... Uh, standards up. also mm -hmm. that we are following. Kasi meron yan tinatawag na IEC, yan yung international standards na would require you to put warning signs doon sa electric fences. Ah, okay. So, ano yan? Safe applications, uh, it's not meant to, to kill. kill. It's only meant uh -huh. to really deter. There would be a painful shock. Mm -hmm. It's unpleasant, but it's safe. Mm -hmm. Because we have to comply with international standards. And in first world countries, eh, safety is number one. Okay, sir. Yung mga iba kasi talagang matatalino, paano kung mm -hmm. gupitin nila yan? Magugupit ba? Nako, Beth. Lahat ng, lahat ng fences naman, lahat ng bagay magugupit. <laughs> Pero ang kagandahan dito, ang kagandahan dito, Kailan natin, sir? Yes. Ito. One Ito thing nice. Ito kasi yung individual yes. fences, no? Ito. Ay, hindi. Wala. Walang kuryente. Yeah, these are the... Uh -oh. These are individual braided... Individual wires. Yeah braided uh, stainless steel wires mm. that we use. That's why, as I mentioned, maraming architects and engineers now that are coming to us because they're incorporating already mm. yung design ng mga bahay doon sa security rin ng bahay. Okay. And this one, uh, we're, we're currently being used by several developers. Uh, can I mention a few of them? Oh, sure, sure. Oh, you have Ayala, you have DMCI, Avida, Avida Land. They're using us and nilalagay yan sa perimeter wall ng subdivisions nila. I think, alam mo, sir, ginagamit din nila yan as marketing strategy po. Kasi syempre, di ba, ang aming mga units dito, ang aming mga bahay dito ay safe na safe sa mga magnanakas. Exactly. Diba? And in real estate, when you, when you sell, the first thing they look at is location, 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 and security. <laughs> yes. And this one now would address that, uh, that need 
of the people. Kasi the, especially the OFWs now, mm. wala sila sa Pilipinas, pero yung mahal nila sa buhay nasa andito, mm. malayo sa kanila. But if they know na there's a deterrent already for the criminals to come in the subdivision or their respective houses, eh, they'll have peace of mind. And you cannot buy that. And of this course. one would help you <laughs> secure it. Balik po tayo sa question natin kagina. So, paano paggupitin? Ayun, paggupitin oh. yan, Beth. We do have um, an alarm system. Mm. So, if you cut in any of the wires, mag-a-alarm yan, mag-trigger ng alarm. So, ito, it, for example, ito yung bakod namin, okay. yung alarm nasa loob ng bahay nyo? Nasa loob ng bahay okay. yan. And then, pag ginupit yan, so, besides dun sa unpleasant shock na mararamdaman ng gugupit, mm -mm. eh, tutunog yung alarm. And then, ini-incorporate din yan with spotlights para mabubukas yan. Ah. And also, I, I would like to mention, for the subdivisions, kasi we, we have installations in the top subdivisions here in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And meron pang monitoring system yan that pag pinutol nila yan, okay. it's a, this one's an additional uh, accessory, no? Okay. Nagtitrigger pa yan ng SMS message to the police wow. station. To the head ng security ng subdivision. Automatic? So, automatic yan. And even sa'yo, if you uh -huh. have, um, let's say, you have a house in Tagaytay or in Baguio na nagkaroon ng intrusion, it would send you an SMS message na alam mo that there's something happening in your rest house. Wow. Sir, yun yung alarm. Ano yung sa baba? Uh, this yung one box. Is, this one is the main energizer. Okay. This one is uh, New Zealand technology. Mm -hmm. And we are the exclusive distributors Distributor. here in the Philippines. Okay. So... Ito naman would be the keypad, so for, for putting it on and off. Eh sir, paano pag brown out? Naku, Beth, kahit mag brown out, <laughs> it has a built-in battery here. Okay. Gano naman po katagal? Kunwari, maghapon walang kuryente. For example, 8 hours. Kaya ba? Well, kaya yan, Beth. Actually, mm -hmm. we could even go farther than that, no? At least 24 hours to wow. the next 30. Kanina po napag-usapan natin na meron din kayong solar na ganito? Well, yes. There's a... Pwede siya. Kasi ito, uh, parang 60 watts na kuryente lang siya. You just plug it in, and then it supplies already for the entire perimeter. Okay. So, yung, yung solar naman, if you don't want to use yung kuryente sa bahay na normal, mm -mm. we do have solar... Uh, panels also mm -hmm. na pwede siyang solar based yung power. Mas mahal ba yun yung solar? Hindi naman. In the long term, it's a lot cheaper <laughs> also. Pero sir, uh, speaking of mahal, eh, yung consumption ng kuryente, baka naman malaki, baka naman well, mapataas ang kuryente namin, bayad sa kuryente. Well, you know Beth, uh, this is like a 60 watt lang ang capacity. So you're looking at around, if you put it on for the next uh, 30 days, 24-7, 400 pesos or 500 pesos a month will be... Ito na. Yeah. 400 and or hanggang 500 pesos. Hanggang 500 pesos. pesos. Oh. That would be the range on a monthly Pero basis. Pero naman, sir, hindi naman matatawaran kasi yung ano, peace of mind peace mo, of diba? Mind. That's correct. Na yung correct. pamilya mong iiwanan sa bahay, a safe na safe dito. Magkano naman yan, sir? It's very affordable. They could get in touch with us. I think uh, our, our website would be very informative. Mm -mm. It's www electricfence.ph Ayan, pwede nyo rin, meron kayong showroom, right? Yes, we do have showrooms as well. We have showrooms at Alabang, yes. uh, at Ortigas, and in Pampanga, at the uh, Home Depot. Okay, yan. Doon po ninyo pwede nga uh, makita kung papaano talaga gumagana. Ayoko kasi, eh, baka makuryente. <laughs> pa papaano po gumagana itong uh, electric fence and na And best to. for Metro Manila, uh, we also give free uh, oculars and okay. surveys, meaning they could call our offices Yan. and then we will coordinate with them. We'll look at their respective houses, the properties, and then we will. they don't have to pay us for doing that. Wow. That's part of the commitment of ProFence Systems Corporation. Yan pala sir, naka-flash pala sa screen natin, ano, yung mga numbers na pwede yung po tawagan kung kayo po ay interesado dito po sa ating ProFence. Yes. Yan na hatid sa inyo ng ProFence Systems, Systems Corporation. Corporation. Maraming salamat po, Mr. Benedict Maraming Almanzor. Salamat. Thank you Pleasure so much. Mine, Thank you so okay. much po. Okay. Abangan po natin si Ponce sa klinik ni Kuya.